nice won't beat a Marillion in a Marillion location. Yeah, those creeps get even creepier on their own serpent turf. <laughs> Let's go, Tomo! This is for win number seven. You're just one away from a Codemaster match. Come on, Tom, no, stop no, this no, no, You no, can no, do no. it! Oh no! The cave's full of nitro ice! He's lost his gear! He's lost his gear! I know! I know! This Carl Ambersad gives me mastery of earth attacks! With my fire and water attacks, that makes me a triple threat! <laughs> I can't let Nunkhorn beat me. It goes off empty hands! <laughs> this shard was forged in the Shard Crafter's workshop! It can't be destroyed here! <laughs> Sorry, Major Tom! Better luck next match! Did you get the call from Codemaster Hotek yet? Not yet. You will. Now he's got to challenge you to a Codemaster match. What's your strategy, bro? Who are you going to put on your battle board? Uh, Maxor for sure. And you got to use Tangith. If you battle like you did today, Major T and Tangith, it'll be terrific. I wish the real Tangith Toborn were still around. If he hadn't put himself on the line to stop that giant wave in Glacier Plains, Harem would be one big toxic ocean. Tangith was one courageous cat. As long as there's chaotic, he'll never be forgotten. <gasps> Codemaster Hotek! Congratulations, Major Tom. You've earned the privilege of competing against me in a battle drone match. Meet me in my drone exactly 24 hours from now, and come prepared for defeat. Wow, he's a charmer. Hotek's harsh. He's only focused on one thing. 
winning. And you need to cop the same too, dude. For the next 1,440 minutes, you gotta be a laser locked on crushing that Toadmaster. You'll need your strongest scams. You've already got Maxor and Tank of Toborn. How about Lugon? His water attacks are amazing. And if Tom gives him a torrent crit... Why, Todd? He's like a muge with macho. Guys, I appreciate the advice, but I already have my team and my strategy all worked out. You do? What you plan, my man? Tell us, tell us! It'd spoil the surprise if I told you now. Oh, come on, Tom! We hate surprises! You're your best friend, you have to tell me. It's like a law! You'll find out everything tomorrow. I gotta port to the storm grounds. See ya! <sighs> He's being totally ridiculous. Yeah, we deserve a sneak peek at what Tommy's up to. I see we port to the storm grounds and follow him. I don't know, guys. Tom deserves some privacy. Privacy? He didn't care about privacy when we were rooting for him, did he? Well, no, but... What, are you afraid Tom might get mad at you? Uh, afraid of? I'll show you who's afraid. See at the storm grounds. <laughs> nice use of adverse psychology there, Sarah. about Tom's strategy. At least we survived Night of the Living Lightning Storm. I better call Tom and see if he's okay. Don't D tell him we followed him. Yeah, play it cool, Kazool. Uh, Tom, you're okay. Yeah, why shouldn't I be? Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, no reason. <laughs> why are you guys wearing ponchos? Uh, it's Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Olé! Adios! <laughs> Smooth. Yeah, like a sack of tacks. Did you notice where he was? That's the barracks in Kiru City. is about to start and we still don't know what his strategy is. We didn't see a single thing he scanned. 
Ugh, I don't even care anymore. Major Tom, you have won seven matches here in Battlethrone Hotek. Now Codemaster Hotek will put your skills to the test himself. It's an honor to- Let's get on with the match, Major Tim. The name's Tom. Dock your scanners, please. I can't wait to see what creatures Tom puts on his team. <laughs> Peyton, wake up! Tom's Codemaster match is starting! Tom better pick his toughest fighters or he's never gonna beat Hotech. I thought you didn't care anymore. That was cranky, tired Sarah talking. This is sweet, supportive Sarah. Oh, we've never met. My name's Kaz. <laughs> Peyton! Cheeseburger! <laughs> Players, lock your decks. Good luck, Tom! Always hold on! No mark? <laughs> this must be a nightmare! That can't be Tom's real team! At least he has a scan of Maxor and the armor that helped him beat Ani. But his other creatures, I mean, they're great and all, but... Yeah, by themselves! But Tom's team is totally out of balance! How does he expect to beat a Codemaster without another warrior? How did you pick your creatures? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Major Tom, you will be the attacker. The first location, Glacier Plains. Maxor attacks? The one with the... You mean Ixic? Ixic! Glacier Plains is where I had my first chaotic battle. I was a total newbie back then. Things sure have changed. Okay, let's test your chaotic creature IQ. Which of these creatures is a warrior? Arthoa, Captain of the Azoa, Stelgar, Vicious Mutation, ugh, or Thark, Tablet Translator? The answer is coming up. Which one of these creatures is a warrior? Arthoa, Captain of the Azoa, Stelgar, Vicious Mutation, or Thark, Tablet Translator? This was an easy one. Arthoa is a scout. Thark is a muge. That means Stelgar, Vicious Mutation, is your chaotic warrior. Off to a slam bang start. So far, Hotex doing all the slamming and banging. Good thing Tom got a scan of Maxor in his armor, or he'd already be cold. Just lost 15 energy. His armor didn't help him that time. <sighs> Ixic is so strong. His attacks even get through battle gear. But maybe I can use his own strength against him. <laughs> Thank you. 
You've lost your strongest creature in the first battle. I'm not impressed. Hotex's right. Tom's in trouble. Rexor was the only powerhouse on his team. And look at Hotex's lineup. All his creatures are like major prehistoric monster mashups. Yeah, just like Codemaster Krillin's creatures from Prexor Chasm. That's where Hotex must have scanned his. My attack. The next location. Rotsnag Bog. Nearing attacks. Momar. I should warn you, Rotsnag Bog can be a dangerous location. I'll try to be careful. I've been looking all over for you. to move like that. You caught him on your secret scan quest, right? Right. I figured I couldn't compete with a Codemaster scans. I just have to surprise Hotek. So I scanned a bunch of average creatures when their stats and abilities were seriously boosted or changed. That's brilliant. But how'd you know where to find them? I've been researching stats and porting around the overworld for weeks. Bodil told me that Momark was doing some freaky experiments in the storm grounds. found out that Rengis gets super pumped up when he's at the training grounds, because he's so competitive. I also remembered that Vidav's been looking after Hotan at Castle Bodri and using Mugic to help Hotan regain his energy. Then I got really lucky. One day I met Oas, and he told me that he and Dartimus became friends during the war against the Marillions, and that Dartimus was teaching him how to do fire attacks. And of course, Ikatosh, being an ice tree, gets all kinds of boosts in the forest of life during Iceless. Then I poured it to the- I'm waiting. Uh, gotta go. Major Tom, it is your attack. Frankie's attack, Rob! <laughs> Momark attacks Soul Bucks! I 
can't believe it! If Tommy codes Hotek's last creature, he wins the match! Tom can't lose! Hotek's creature stats stink! Look at him! I don't have to, dude! I can smell him! <laughs> Am I right? Am I right, right? Guys, get real! Why would Hotek put such a weakling on his battle team? He must have given Og some kind of super destructive battle gear! Huh? Ew. Get him while they're getting good, Tomo! Code him quick before he appears his battle gear! <laughs> he did it! And he made it look easy! <laughs> oh, yes. Look, something's wrong! The battle's not over! Oh. All of Hotek's creatures are back! It's five against one! Tom doesn't stand a chance against Codemaster Hotek now! 